Today we're going to take a look at three very cool and useful Dremel attachments that I've downloaded and printed myself and used. And well, let's just get started here. Um, the first one, which is very, very basic and simple, is just this little handle to put on there to help you get a little more control over it. So we'll unscrew our front cap. This screws right in place. Oh, and before I forget, if you look in the description below, you'll find links to um, each one of these. They're all found on Thingiverse. And there will be attributes on there to who actually designed this. And you can download the files. And there will be a little more information like 3D printer settings and stuff. But this right here is just a little handle. And you use it like that, it lets you be able to hold on to it, get a little more precise while working with stuff. That's pretty cool. I've um, used this a couple times already. I only printed it about, oh, not even quite a week ago. And I, I'm pretty sure I've used it at least twice now. So that's the first one. I'm going to go ahead and take that off. The second one, I haven't gotten around to using this particular one yet, but by the looks of it, it should work. I don't see why it wouldn't. I've um, even seen a demonstration of this working, so I don't see why it wouldn't. But you put your this on, then you put your cutoff wheel on there. Tighten it down. Then it has three different angles here, and they're marked 135 degree, 90 degree, and 118. And it's a drill bit sharpener. Now it looks to me like this bit is a 90. So you can use this, sharpen your drill bits with your Dremel. I have lots of drill bits, and um, I don't have to sharpen them very often. The ones I keep in here in the uh, electronics workshop here um, usually only get used with plastics and stuff so they don't get dull and in the garage I have a big sharpener for my big metal bits but this will be useful if a bit starts to get a little dull I can just touch it up on this not have to go out to the shop and switch the big uh, grinding wheel over to the, the drill sharpener all right I'm gonna go ahead and take this off Oh, and the print times on these, this, I can't remember. I know this was a couple hours. This was about 45 minutes, I think. And it said the, no supports needed, but I found it dead. The first time I tried printing it, it collapsed over the arch here. Second time, I just added a little bit of supports. It worked perfect. Next, and this is really cool. If you want to have both hands free, you can print this out put in here and um, it has a screw here you can tighten up to hold the back and in the front you can screw that on otherwise I do believe there's enough threads for that flex arm I actually don't have one of them I should get one it'd be handy um, see I haven't tried but I do believe the drill bit That screws on there too, and you can just from the side get to the 90 degree angle. So that would help. Uh, that would help with using the drill bit sharpener. And you can turn it; it's still snuggish, so you get to the 35 and the 118 before it starts loosening up. So that's cool. I hadn't tried that before, so I'll have to remember that. Otherwise, you just tighten up your normal accessory cap here. Um, I forget what the exact name for it is, and tighten up this bolt and then make sure this is made so you can either use two clamps and clamp it down to your workbench or area you're working or it has four holes in it if you want to permanently mount it on your workbench i wouldn't recommend using it without mounting it because sure it's going to vibrate and try to move around i mean even if you try putting some rubber feet on the bottom i'm sure it's it's not very heavy just take you know two little c clamps or something clamp it down your workbench good to go or if you want it permanent just screw it down all right um that's the three um little accessories actually this is a big accessory <laughs> but uh the three cool accessories i've come across so far and printed out on my 3d printer i printed all these on the anycubic i3 mega 
but pretty much any printer should work. And remember, just look in the description below. You'll find links to all three of these. And uh, you go there, it'll tell you who came up with the designs and give you all that information, and then you can download the files. So with that, um, I think we'll go ahead and wrap this up. So thanks for joining us here at the Z-Hut today. And uh, have fun printing with your 3D printer.